Hey guys, it's Matt in Japan, and today I have Transformers Legends LG57 Octone, uh, or in English, Octane. Uh, the Japanese still use the Octone. Um, triple Tron Octone. I will be referring it to as Octone because it is a Takara release and they call it Octone. Um, take a quick look at the packaging. I haven't opened them up yet, um, so we'll just kind of come in. And you have your standard fare as far as the Takara release, uh, Transformer Legends down there in the bottom left, um, LG57, Octone, Triple Tron, and you have a picture up close of him down there. And now remember he does come with the Ghost of uh, Scar Starscream, uh, Headmaster, and there he is behind him donning the uh, Starscream head. And uh, he has the, uh, the, the uh, high shoulders there with the red in the background sort of differentiate between him and Octone. And in the upper right window you have Headmaster Octane and the Headmaster Ghost Starscream. It's a little bit difficult to make out in the box. We will take a closer look at him when we open him up. Um, he comes packaged in his jet mode, uh, airplane mode, jet mode. Um, he does have a couple weapons. He has the um, the gun that can carry the uh, Titan Master and also the uh, the big purple blaster there. And of course, uh, going on the sides, so you have, you know, again, standard fare here. Um, it does show you the, um, does show you the uh, Starscream head, uh, Headmaster. Head on, ride on, the jet mode. It shows you the... Uh, the tank lorry mode, it says. Tank lorry mode. That's what they're calling it. Octone. Um, and on this side, uh, you get another picture of what they have on the front. And that great artwork again. Um, bottom, um, product information, all in Japanese. Uh, top, you have both the uh, Octane's head and Starscream's. Head in the background there, LG57 Octone, and you have the two Titan Masters there. And looking at the back, we have your product shots. Um, again, you know, being able to ride in the cockpit, jet mode, um, tank truck mode. I'm not sure what tank lorry mode is. Sounds a British, English, almost lorry. Anyways, tank truck mode, and then you get the robot mode. And uh, you got uh, Starscream hanging out in the gun there. And yeah, he looks pretty cool. Um, and then you got the uh, alternate robot mode, Starscream's uh, head there, which we will do. And again, um, I have the G1 uh, Octane figure, and we will be comparing him in all his modes. So yeah, let's take a break, get this guy opened up, and see what we have. Okay, so we got uh, Octane, Octone, uh, out of the box, and these are what he comes with. Um, so let's take a look at his accessories first. He comes with his uh, double blaster here, and again, the uh, you can put on the gun, you can put the Titan Master inside. Um, we all know the playability and compatibility of these already, so I'm not going to spend too much time on that. And a really nice uh, purple painted uh, gun here, which is... Uh, Really nice actually. Some cool detail inside of there. Pretty much the same on this side. Yeah, really nice. Um, and we'll get in uh, close to the, whoop, upside down. So this is the uh, head for uh, Octone, Octane. Some nice silver paint, um, some red painted eyes. It's a little bit difficult to see in there. Um, and then if we open him up, you got the headmaster there. And again, really nice uh, silver paint on the face, painted uh, purple on the top of the helmet and arms um, and the legs are the gray and the white. Um, so yeah, he did, they did a good job on that. So I'll put him aside there. And then we'll take a look at the uh, Starscream head. A little bit difficult to see, but you can you can kind of make it out. It's kind of a smoky, you want that smoky clear plastic that we've seen before. Um, and it does have the red painted eyes 
And yeah, it's definitely Starscream. Um, and then the rest of his body is clear, clear plastic with um, red paint on the eyes. And on the, my my uh, my copy of this, the head is just it's really loose. Um, anyway, so it's got the red painted uh, chest and legs and a little bit of blue on the forearms and the rest is the clear plastic. So yeah, pretty cool. Kind of wish uh, his head wasn't so so loose there, but oh well, what you gonna do? So I'll put him down. And let's take a look at the bot of the hour here. And this is Octone in his jet mode. And of course, yeah, we've all seen this uh, mold before with Optimus Prime, but we all knew that it was gonna be, you know, um, changed into uh, Octone here. So it definitely fits the mold better. I like this a lot better than the Optimus Prime uh, mold. Um, it just it just makes more sense. So anyways, yeah, getting in close. Um, they did a really good job um, reflecting uh, the G1 look of it. Um, got the little painted windows in there. Kind of gets hidden under the wings there. Um, got some nice painted silver on the wings. Decepticon Tampograph stickers on the wings there. Um, this can open up. You can have Starscream. Hanging out in there. Hey guys. Have him hanging out inside there. Um, taking a look at the sides. Um, you got the painted smokestacks that we'll see in truck mode. Um, I mean, yeah, the, the both vehicle modes are not, you know, they're not the greatest. You got the truck parts hanging off the sides there. Um, although the truck mode is probably the, the strongest of the modes as far as alt modes. Um, but yeah, looks pretty good. Got some nice painted silver on here. And yeah, so let's bring in, I'll bring in a G1, um, G1 Octone, Octane. Uh, now, just to be forewarned, my G1 Octane is a mess. It's old, I don't have the tail fin. Um, it doesn't have stickers. It's just, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's kinda, it's kinda ugly. Anyways, but we're just looking at it for comparison. So there they are, side by side. G1, Octanes. And yeah, of course they did a good job replicating that. You know, you're gonna have more junk on the uh, Legends figure, of course, but you know, for, for the most part, um, they replicated that pretty well. I do like the stickers on here, and I think the Hasbro release went with that sort of sticker, uh, more sticker-oriented uh, style. Um, but the uh, Takara, the Legends one, is actually very nice too. It's a lot simpler, it's cleaner looking, I think. So yeah, anyways, um, take a quick pause and... Okay, so we're back in truck mode here, and he's looking pretty snazzy in his truck mode. And again, like I said, I think this is the strongest of his modes. Um, so it's coming close. Um, it's a nice silver paint there on the uh, smokestacks, and nice painted uh, wheels there, going down the side. Septicon logo in the back. Um, some nice painted uh, windows there in the front. That looks really cool. You can kind of see the purple coming up through there. Um, might try and find a tiny Decepticon sticker to throw in that little spot there. Um, turning him around here. Same on the other side. The back. Um, you know, we've seen this all before again with the Optimus mold. Bottom. And yeah, I think it looks really nice. Um, I really like the truck mode. It's uh, it's really looks really nice. Not too crazy about the jet mode, but the truck mode looks really nice. So um, let's grab my G1 Octane and compare him. And yeah, they did a nice little homage to the uh, painted uh, smokestacks here on the side there. And and yeah, it's uh. And they uh, replicated that front, that dark gray there. Um, 
Again, I don't have any stickers, so it's kind of plain. Turn them on the side here. And yeah, he's, um, yeah, of course the G1's a little smaller, but for the most part, yeah, they did a good job. Let's take a look at the back and the underside here. But yeah, all in all, um, these down here, is kind of compare them. There's kind of a size comparison here. But yeah, I definitely think the, uh, the truck mode um, is the strongest of the alt modes. And uh, speaking of his other mode, um, we've done the jet, we've done seeing the truck, and let's take a look at robot mode. Okay, so here we have Octone in his robot mode, and let's take a quick look at him. Um, I have him sort of posed like uh, on the uh, box art <clears throat> on the back, the product shot um, of him holding the uh, gun with Starscream, the Titan Master, and the uh, riding on the gun there. Um, and it's getting close, and yeah, he looks he looks really cool. So I really like the way this game came out. Um, I do like the, I do one of the main things that's different uh, between this and the Hasbro is the the paint here. Um, they painted the dark gray, and that really does a nice job of breaking up the uh, the light uh, off white sort of grayish piece here. So this dark gray kind of offsets that, and that looks really nice. Kind of breaks them up a little bit, and I do have his. Um, I don't know what you call it, his little side things up here. But you, of course you can, like all the Voyagers, you can push that down if you want. Um, and you just push here to, to uh, put it up. Actually looks pretty good on this one. Um, looks pretty good. And on Blitzwing it looks pretty good. So yeah, there he is in his robot mode. And again, we'll bring in the G1 figure and I don't have any of his accessories. And we'll just sort of put them side by side. So yeah, they um, they did a nice job of uh, having the wings out and the uh, the dark gray here on the front. Um, and I mean, there's not much to not much to say about the G1 figure really. Um, but they did kind of pick up the uh, with the purple feet here too. They picked up that part on the G1 there. Um, and the purple's a little bit different. It's a little more red purple on the Takara Legends. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, let's just get a close-up on the head sculpt. See how they did with that. See if we can get them both in the shot here. Uh, let me go put the G1 here. So there's a little bit close-up of the... There's the, uh, the G1 Octone and the Legends Octone. So you get that nice crest on the helmet there. Um, so yeah, they did... They did a good job with that. It's really nice. And let's see here, we'll, we'll put that guy down. And let's take another quick uh, pause. And I'm going to put on Starscream's uh, head and put his uh, back shoulders up. And we'll see how that, t how that looks. And here he is in his uh, ghost Starscream mode. Um, and basically the only thing that's different is these um, shoulder pads. You turn up so the red side's facing out. And then obviously you put in the, uh, the Starscream head. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm probably not going to be displaying him in this mode at all, but you know, it's cool. It's like a cool feature you can do. Uh, I will put him with his fellow Decepticons, Voyagers. We got uh, Legends, Astro Train, and I have the Hasbro version of Blitzwing. Just because I like him better, um, I, I don't really care for the paint um, they use for the uh, Legends Blitzwing, it's just, it's too light for me. It's like a lilac purple kind of. I don't know. I don't know what you guys think, but um, I really like the, um, really like the uh, the Hasbro Blitzwing better. I just like the darker purples and the contrast better. Um, but anyways, yeah, so there we have uh, LG57 Octone. And uh, with his fellow Decepticons, he does stand a little bit shorter than the other two. Astro Train being the biggest, um, and then Blitzwing, and then uh, Octone comes in third. So yeah, I'm glad to uh, have these in my collection and uh, complete the uh, triple changers in the um, Titans Return slash Legend series. And uh, yeah, for LG57, Transformers Legends Octone, or Octane, uh, with Ghost Starscream. 
Uh, this has been Matt in Japan. Thanks for watching.